you're alive. Hi, and I have a good reason for being late because I was uh, cleaning the kitchen, running around thinking like, oh, I'm so early. And then I realized uh, I was looking at the kitchen clock that we hadn't set ahead. So hi, Ashley. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Flo on the go. Hi, uh, Flo on the go, would you say? Oh, here comes Binky Gregory. Hi, Liz Tops. Hi, Margo. Can you believe I'm still awake? I know. I can't believe it, but you're you're in luck. Hi, Sherry. Hi. Everybody else is on the panel, Kevin. Hurt me wise. Okay, so I picked up a, a game. Um, just took it out of the shrink wrapped. It's never been opened. Uh-oh, what happened? What happened? Heart said hi and left? She falls off a lot. She'll oh, she falls off back. a lot. Okay. I shouldn't take offense then, huh? No. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Bang. Hi, Abby. Hi. Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Right. Hello. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> We've got some trivia questions here. Oh, look, the packs are all wrapped too. Look at that. Poor game has been. I don't even know how many years this has been. This is um, bet you know it. Trivial pursuit. Bet you know it. I don't know. Let's see if you know it. Right. So, um, how's everybody coping with the time change? I'm good. <laughs> My clock was already set. <laughs> I never okay. changed it. Oh, really? So you're always <laughs> right once a year? Yeah. <laughs> My good. car's like that. <laughs> um, Didn't affect me. Okay. So let's see, what we'll do is uh, we'll do the panel versus the chat. So the panel will get a question and the chat will get a question. And the first, the chat, because they're the guests. I'm, I'm going to play in the chat. You're going to play in oh, the yeah. chat? Okay. Yeah. Then you can't answer in the panel. Okay, right. let's see. Boo, Kevin. Okay, this is, I think these are pretty easy, but I'm just going to go with the top to the bottom, even if they think they're pretty easy. So this is for the chat. Nobody on the panel says anything. What side dish is the San Francisco treat? I think that's incredibly easy. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Kevin has been chat. <laughs> yeah. He's screaming. <laughs> okay. Now this is for the panel. What food products original jingle started with? Uh oh. Spaghetti. Spaghettios. See, you're right. But see, when I heard, uh-oh, I, I don't know why I was thinking, uh-oh, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. I don't know why I was thinking that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, plop, plop. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know why I just can't. Okay. This is for the chat. My head. Thank you. What 70s? Okay, this is for the chat. What 70s singer sang Be a Pepper for Dr. Pepper commercials before his career took off? You can hear it, Kevin? Good. Ashley, right. Barry Manilow. Okay, this is for the panel. Which song was the first live music played in outer space? Was it Jingle Bells, Rockabye Baby, or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Does anybody, is that your final oh, answer for the panel? Sounds Thank right, you. right. What's wrong? Sure. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. <laughs> they went up in July. 
Well, Christmas in July. They weren't going back in December. Okay. <laughs> so, what? This is for the chat. What's the zoo, zoological inspired name for a snippet of music that gets stuck in your head? Oh, boy. Oh, I hate that term. Ugh, I just thought about too. it. That, that, that's Ugh, what it is. I never use that. Ugh. I don't understand the question. So, I, hi, Shelly Joe. Hi, One Eye Blind Art. What? A ditty? No. <laughs> <laughs> I heard somebody have this this question before, too, and it's so gross. Worth a try, yeah. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, chat, a little lively. <laughs> Shelly Joe, jump in. Muka, hi, come on, start answering. Don't be a don't be shy. Let's go, let's go. A jingle? Good try, Muka, but it says think um zoological. Does anybody on the panel know? Earworm. Oops, Earworm. Know Yuck. Earworm was the answer. Okay, this is for the panel. I did not know that. What Beatles song did Nike license for an ad campaign leading to an explosion of licensed music in commercials? Imagine. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody else? Let it be. Revolution. Yeah. Revolution. Yeah, that's right. Nike Revolution. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is for the chat. As of 2009, in how many countries worldwide does Campbell sell its soup? Is it 44 countries, 68 countries, or 120 countries? As of 2009. Kevin says 68. 48, excuse me, 44, 68, or 120. Ashley Vestal, right again. Mm -hmm. 20. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm To the panel. What is the top award at the Cannes Film Festival? I don't know. Artist of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Best picture? I don't know. Does the chat, do you pass to the chat? Yeah. Sure. Okay, yeah. passing to the chat. What is the top award <laughs> at the Cannes F Film Festival? Can't speak tonight. Time up. Come on, guys. A little lively on the uh, responses, please. The Well, Kevin, you're close. You need another word. What kind of palm award? You're on the right track. You need a, you need a color. Oh. You need a color. I need a color. Pick a color. Think of the Olympic medals. What's the winner, Kevin? Oh. Oh, I'm not Kevin. Excuse yeah. me. Six Golden six. palm. Yes. Yay. Okay. All right. Oops, we're not done with that card. Why am I putting it away? Okay. 
This is, now this is, you guys missed it, so this is for the chat. Who wrote Cannery Row? Who wrote Cannery Row? Remember the first Trivial Pursuit? The questions are really hard. They're not so hard. Kevin, the Steinbeck. When I blind art said it, I wrote it. Oh, and I guess there's another question. At the end of when I read all the questions, you can put what all the questions had in common. Oh. You can't think of the first name. Hi, Native Libra. Okay, Steinbeck. John. Okay. We'll let you have it for that one. Now the panel. What town might be found in a swollen can of food? Oh, excuse me. What toxin? I'm so sorry. What <laughs> toxin might be found in a swollen can of food? I'm like, what? I know that one. My father used to say Is it all for the us? Yeah, it's for you guys. Yeah. Botulism. Botulism. Oh, my gosh. I, I knew that word at like three years old. My father was like uh, terrified. You think someone in his family yeah. died of botulism <laughs> <Exactly>. or something? <laughs> botulism! <laughs> that, was, yeah, that, was a, that was a common word in our house all the time. The trick with the trick and the botulism. Master. Okay. Um, <laughs> cha and homogenized. Yeah, that was homogenized. a very common word in our house. All right. So let's, uh, t this is for the uh, chat. What nostalgic game is also an episode of the Twilight Zone. What nostalgic game is also an episode of the Twilight Zone? I think I know. Really, Kevin? You don't know? Where's all our Twilight Zone people? Come on. Um, good try, one eye, but not, no cigar there. I think I know. Come on, call in your lifelines in the chat. Let's go, get some people in here. You didn't hear it. Okay, the, the question Shelly Joe was, what nostalgic game is also an episode of the Twilight Zone? Nope, one eye blind art, no trekkers, nope. What nostalgic game. Think of anybody that knows the Twilight Zone knows this pool. Nope. I'll give you a hint. It's about there's a retirement home. Retirement home. Does, oh, do you want it? Hi, Emmy. I gave you the hint. Shuffleboard, no. Twister? No. Jump rope? No. <laughs> oh, where are our Twilight Zone people? Where's Scooter? I don't know. Somebody call Lifeline Scooter. There you go. Ashley got it. Kick the can. Okay. Uh, now, uh, all of those questions, those five questions, the five questions before, I'll give you an example. The main category was jingles. What would be something that would be a category, not even a category, but something that all of those questions had in common? Does anybody know it? No, I don't. Campbell's Soup, Cannes Film Festival. Um, oh, I forgot. I, I, we missed one question. Hold on a minute. This is for oh. the, the chat. Oh, oh. What beverage other than, other than, uh, what is that called? I know. What other, what beverage other than, has anybody heard of near beer? Yeah. I, yeah. I don't, I guess. I, 
did the Coors Brewing beer. Company produce during Prohibition? Yeah, there's no beer alcohol in it. Near what beer. other, yeah. what beverage other than near beer did the Coors Brewing Company produce during Prohibition? I don't know. Is that for us? Yeah. I don't know. You guys don't know? Yeah. You want to pass it? Hi, Mary Warren. Call in some lifelines because it's really bad on Pamela and in here. Um, okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> do you guys want to know? Yeah. Um, whiskey? No. Mm. Malted milk. Malted. Okay. Malted milk. So what did all of those questions have in common? I don't remember. What's a run? Cans. Yeah, they all came in a can. Cans. Okay. Now, next, oh, next batch. Can. They all came in a can. Next yeah. batch. This is who, who is now uh, the chat. Okay. In what country did Finman Handel first appear on breakfast menus? Finman Hand, hold on, I, I can't even read this. My glasses must be dirty. It's Finman Handel appear on breakfast menus? What the heck is that? <laughs> Has everybody, anyone ever heard of that? Finman no. Handel? No. No. Okay. All right, let me try to clean my glasses and see if it helps. Otherwise, I'm going to have to get a new set of glasses or a new prescription. In what country did Finnan... Finnan Haddle first appear on breakfast menus? Finnan Haddle. What the heck is Finnan Haddle? First, I, need to figure out I have no idea. Is. In what country did Finnan Haddle... First appear. Is Finn it and, Ireland or Finn and Hattie? Like Finn and Hattie. Yeah, Ireland. F I N N A N H A D D I E. Finn and Hattie appear on breakfast Hattie menus. Whose turn is it? Scotland. Come on, let's go. Which one? Mary Warren has Germany in. Oh. Going to the big are we? Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's a type of, of smoked haddock. <laughs> Finn and Hattie. Finland. But you're not answering. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's not uh, Finland, Finland, it's not Norway, no. it's not Italy, mm -hmm. it's not Sweden. Germany is up there. It's not Germany. Balkan. <laughs> Come on, guys. Only a few more other choices. France. It's not France. <laughs> Denmark. It's not Sweden, Mary Warren. Come on, call in your lifelines, chat. Get some people here. New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> it's not England, Shelly Joe. Honey, did you read that thing I, I sent about your, the, the book you sent me on no. Facebook about the woman with the DNA? No. You should read it. In Colorado. This woman who does DNA studies, she's uh, fired. She did, did a bunch of stuff that wasn't right. So Russia, maybe, like, some cases may matter. Some okay, matter. Mary Warren finally got it. Scotland. Some I said Scotland. But you're not but in the chat. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> all right, right so now. Because, all right, First because, answer, uh, I said. A bunch of cases are gonna, can be affected. I don't know. Any of ours. Okay. This is you for this. This is for the panel. I need kisses. Good night, I love you. What's that cat doing on the floor in front of the heater? That's Sharon's cat. Leave it alone. Okay. Who starred okay. as a tobacco lobbyist in the 2005 movie? Thank you for thank you for smoking. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Did you get a hint? No. Chuck Cockers? No. Um, you don't remember that movie, Thank You for Not Smoking? No. 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 
Remember, it was about like. Um, not smoking. No, it's about the, the tobacco industry and stuff. Yeah. Right. Didn't he make some more documentaries? The guy. I, it, I don't think it was a documentary. I think it was like a drama, wasn't it? I Thank don't you know. for not smoking. Oh no. Um. All I can think of is the guy that does make these. And I think he's from Canada. Yeah. That's all I know. Hold on one second. Okay. Sorry, I'm back. Okay. Um, I'm Scottish and I don't know that. Liz Top says she doesn't know that. She's talking still about the other thing. Brian Cran Oh, you can't answer Flo on the go, but they'll pass to you guys because they don't know it. Does anybody yeah. in the chat know who, who... Wow, you hear that wind? It sounds like crazy outside. It sounds like a winter blizzard. Oh, it was here earlier. It was here earlier, too. About an hour ago. Yeah, it stopped finally. Does anybody know the answer? I don't. The name is Aaron Eckhart. Oh, I never would have. I know what he looks like. I wouldn't have remembered his name. Okay, this is for the chat. What brand of cigarettes once advertised the quality of their tobacco with the phrase? It's toasted. Toasted tobacco, people. Mm-mm, good. Kevin says, lucky strikes. And Kevin is right. S-M-F-T. M-F-T. He's shooting them three to four letter words. Lucky strike means fine tobacco. Okay. All right. Now this is for the panel. What surrealist painted a pipe and the phrase CC and est pas un pipe? I don't know. No idea. Follow your dolly. No. A, a, oh, um, oh, um. The text informs the viewer this is not a pipe. I would never know this. Andy Warhol? No. Does Andy anyone Steve? in the chat uh, chat know this one? <laughs> so hard. I know, they were not hard at first. Does anyone in the chat know this? It's Rene Magritta. What? Oh, please. I don't even know oh, who that please. is. <laughs> okay, this is for the chat. What smoke flavored water is a barbecue standard? Ew. What smoke flavored water is a barbecue standard? Oh, uh, what's the name? No, of no, it's not your question. I know. Okay. No. I know, though. Okay. Come on, all the barbecue people that use this. I think it's gross. Me too. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Kevin doesn't know. Come on, people now. Call your lifelines in. Mesquite? Nope. Never heard of it. Hickory? Hi, painted black. Nope. Paint it black. I hope you can give the chat some help because they're doing really miserably. So is the panel. Hey. Liquid smoke. Native Libra got uh, it. I yes. It. No, I it. Okay. Now for the panel. <laughs> what is the water pipe popular in the Middle East for smoking flavored tobacco called? Is that the panel? Or hooker? That's a panel. The hookah. Okay. Yes, that's correct. And what did all of those questions have in common? Smoke. 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 Yeah. Yay! Yay! <laughs> all right. Now where's my card? All right. The way you looked at us. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> We've only gone through 10 questions. No, 15 <laughs> questions. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go now. This is for the chat. What... What does that say? What retro sitcom is set in the fictional suburb of Point of Point Place, Wisconsin? What fictional oh. retro sitcom is set in the fictional suburb of Point Place, Wisconsin? I know some of you in the chat have to know this. I think I know it. Is it retro? Yeah. They're still talking about liquid smoke being yucky. Oh, it's nasty stuff. Oh, my God. Fargo? No painted black. Ashley Vestal got it. That's seventy show. Okay. Yep. This is for the chat. I mean the panel. From the Wisconsin. The, and this is very easy. And if if you guys miss this, I will really be upset. G uh -oh. R Old LaSalle ran great is a phrase from the theme song to what classic sitcom? All in the family. Family. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now this is for the chat. What sitcom surpassed Gunsmoke's longest running primetime show record in 2008? I know what that is. What sitcom surpassed Gunsmoke's longest running primetime show record in 2008? Nobody's got it yet. I'm looking. None of you have it yet. Nobody has it. Oh, the Heart Made Wise just got it. The Simpsons. Okay. Yeah. This is for the panel. In the Seinfeld episode, The Jacket, what Les Miserables song gets stuck in George's head? No, I did. I dreamed a dream. Mm -mm. John went to hell. Anybody else on the on the panel? No. Nope. Okay, they okay. passed to the chat. Chat still guessing sitcoms. <laughs> Where's the Seinfeld people? My goodness. Go call your neighbors and stuff, people. <laughs> it's midnight. Man, oh, I forgot we need what some people over here. Yeah. You happen to have no the answer to this. Tina, wake up. It's bad. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself. Repeat question, please. Okay. In the Seinfeld, Seinfeld episode, The Jacket, what Les Mis song gets stuck in George's head? What Les Mis? What is Les that? Mis. Les, Les Mis. Les Mis. Yeah, well, it, it, hmm. You're falling asleep, Muka? Smack yourself. Get some coffee. <laughs> Just give yourself a quick smack and get some coffee. Cold water. 
Come on now. It's just the time change. It's not that late. Stop it. Go get some ice water and splash it on your face. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Okay, well, no one got that one, and that is Master of the House. Now, the next question goes to the chat, because that was a pass. What was added to many television comedy shows beginning in 1950? And that's so easy. Jeez. What was added to many comedy shows in the 1950s? Right, Kevin got laugh tracks, yep. Yes, that yeah. was fast. Okay, now, to the panel. On Cheers, what position did Sam Mayday Malone play for the Boston Red Sox? No clue. No pitcher. clue. Pitcher. A pitcher, that's right. He was a reliever. And what did yeah, all those questions, what did all those questions have in common? Balls. No. What did all those questions have in common? Anybody? Chat? All in the family picture. No. I don't remember. What they I'm are. Right sitcoms. Okay. Oh, they were all sitcoms. Yeah. Mm. Now this, this is for the chat. What country bordered only by France and the Mediterranean Sea, does not charge residents personal income tax. Okay? What country bordered only by France and the Mediterranean Sea does not charge residents personal income tax? Who's this for? So the, the chat. Damn. Um. Correct. Monaco. Who got that? Monaco. Kevin Leonard. That's correct. Then Flo on the go and then a heart made wise. Okay, this is for the panel. I knew that. What MTV show gives viewers a peek inside celebrity homes? Dibs. That's right. That's right. That's Buckley. He knows that. Okay. Now, um, this is for the chat. What painful condition what painful condition associated with overindulgence is sometimes called the disease of kings? That's so simple. Oh my God. <laughs> I know it. We were just talking about it the other day. We were? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting. Hangover? No. no. What painful <laughs> condition associated with overindulgence is sometimes called the disease of kings? There you go. We got it. Gout. Gout. Painted black Gout. and Kevin Leonard. Gout. Okay. Next, Ready? this is for the, the panel. What children's author went from public assistance to Forbes' list of the world's richest people? I know that. J.K. Rowling. Yes. J.K. Rowling. That was yeah. easy. Okay. Uh -huh. To the chat. I can't even read this stuff. A magnifying glass. I know. I'm going to need new... I think I need my other glasses because it's really getting me... Hold on. Let me see if these are any better. 
gonna get a headache. Get a mango. No, these are might be better. Hold on, let me try these. Nope. <laughs> not too much. Not too much better. But I think there's. Thought I had another pair. I'm going through the same I'm thing. <laughs> here, can you read this? No. All right. Um. It's like because the the font is very light, so I'm trying. But and the letters like run together. Like I'm like, is that two M's or is that an M? <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, Mom, this mom. okay. What does this say here? Okay. Right, we're going to go to the next one. I I, I cannot read that <laughs> question. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try this one. As the oh, as the Wall Street Burger Shop at the Wall Street Burger Shop, what pricey and unusual ingredient? is sprinkled on a Richard Nouveau burger. I know. <laughs> Class is right at me. <laughs> I think I know. <clears throat> start with okay, whose who's question was this? I lost, this is your guy's question. Right? It was? It was the panel, right? I don't. I lost it. I don't remember whose whose question was that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they got gout. That's your question. Okay, truffles. No. Oh no. Mary Warren got it. Gold. Well, oh, gee. better. Okay. Gold schlock has gold in it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I'll try this one. Uh, I cannot read that one word, but I think I have the rest of them. Um, this would be to the chat. The blank whose fur was once linked with royalty is what kind of animal? I know. I know. So you're looking for a fur that was once linked with royalty is what kind of animal? On your cuffs and at the bottom. Mink, nope. Cat, nope. Oh. oh. Lion, nope. <laughs> I Mink. got booted. Mm. You booted? Well, Fox. join us. Uh, nope. Sable? Nope. <coughs> Boy, we only get one wrong, and you go to them. No, but this wasn't your question. Your question was the gold on the burger. Well, and who answered it? They did. Yeah, but there's a lot of people, but they're not on the panel. They, they have a disadvantage in the chat. Look at all this. Cow, leopard, they still haven't got it. They're looking really bad now. Come on, you guys better call in reinforcements in there. You guys are looking bad. Use AI. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Think about you. They've, they've named like every animal for their fur except for one. And I'll give them a, and I'll give them a hint now. All around no. the mulberry bush. Oh, come on. <laughs> but what's it really called? It does come from them. Oh, and they're still oh. saying wolf, still rabbit. Saying wolf, rabbit. Oh, okay, the mulberry bush. <laughs> All around the mulberry bush. All around the. Do you guys know that song? All around the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the. But, but it's it's Weasel, yay! <laughs> okay, that's the answer. Um, All it's right. Really Take a lot of weasel. Like it's called vermin from a weasel. And weasels are amazingly soft if you've ever had them. Yes, I have. Okay, what tail. did all of those questions have in common? And someone's echoing that. Dreams. JK. 
books? Cribs? Weasel. The answer Sorry. luxury. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This is now the panel. On what continent would you find Is it uh, a month? Hold on a minute. A Munden Scott station? I really do need a magnifying glass. <laughs> From what continent would you find? On what continent would you find? A Munson Scott station. Wales? Wales? I don't know what it is. There's seven choices. And you've got six people. Well, five. Fine. Who's question is this? This is your question, question on the panel. Antarctica. Right. Right. Really? Yes. Oh. Okay. We need. We need to. We need to solve the echo. Yeah, it's my Here, let me see. Is it me? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Who played Iceman in Top Gun? That's for the chat. Who played Iceman? It's them. I've never even seen that movie. Yeah. Who played Iceman? Where's all the people that watch Top Gun in the chat? Come on. Yes, painted black and one eye blind are got it. Val Kilmer. Okay, this is for the panel. What is a long, narrow inlet of the sea often formed by the ancient movement of glaciers? A fjord? Yes, we're just looking at inlets today. Okay, now the chat what alfred lansing book chronicling ernest shackleton's incredible voyage to the south pole was also the name of shackleton's ship no one eye you're not dumb Come on, paint it black. Let's go. Ernest Shackleton. Incredible voyage to the South Pole. Does the panel know? No. I don't Endurance. Know. The ill-fated voyage is most remembered for Shackleton's loyalty to his crew. Peacock or something like that. Peacock. Okay, to the panel. What is a crack in an ice sheet or a glacier called? A fissure? No. No. Anybody else on the panel? Oh, wait, wait. A crevasse? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yay, Sharon. Yay. All right, to the chat. What name is commonly used? 
for the ice resurfacing machine at skating rinks. Oh, oh I, I know. think you would know this I one. I know that one. I know. Oh, oh yeah. Of course. Good. Let's see if they know it. Margot Margo knows that one. She better. The ice resurfacing machine at skating rinks. What's it called? The machine that comes out and smooths the ice. Zamboni. Margo. <laughs> it's the chat's turn. <laughs> Well, Sharon told me to answer it, so I listened. I said you knew it. All right, chat, you'll get a new question. <laughs> Sorry, that. what did all of those questions have in common? Ice. Ice, yes. Ice. Ice, ice, baby. Okay, let chat gets a new question. Chat, this is your question. Margo, don't answer. In what country <laughs> might you climb the medieval tower where Rapunzel is said to have let down her long blonde hair. In what country might you climb that tower? Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. In here. If you want to climb that tower, what country would you be in? Ireland? Nope. Denmark? Nope. Scotland? Switzerland? Sweden? Nope, nope, nope. Germany is right. Yay. Okay. This is for the panel. What hair, hair band members include Tommy Lee and Nikki Six? What? Come on, Binky. Really? What hair, Linda, hair band? Linda and Binky don't know this. What oh, hair band God. members include Tommy Lee and Nikki Six? Oh, uh, Motley Crue. Yes. Oh, boy, again, I was losing all faith. Not okay. a Motley. Okay. Band. Now, Fair this well. is for the chat. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. What classic hairstyle popularized by flappers was once considered a symbol of sexual freedom? Oh, I know what it is. Kevin got it. The Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, this goes to the panel. In which state would you find Layla Layla's Hair Museum said to contain locks from both Marilyn Monroe, Abe Lincoln, would it be in Minnesota, Mississippi, or Missouri? Missouri, Missouri. That's right. There we Yay. Go. Okay. Yay. All right. Now this is for the chat. Hi. Got to be. Got to be good. Get in here. They need help. <laughs> what organization is known for donating hair pieces made from real hair to kids who suffer long-term hair loss? What organization? That one's easy. Yeah. Yes, Ashley. Locks of love. Okay. To the panel. What 1978 Olympic gold medalist was known as much Dorothy for her Hamill. skating? What? Dorothy Hamill. Yeah, I didn't even finish the question. We were just talking about her. Just yeah. talking about as much for her skating as for her wedge. Yep. Dorothy just Hamill. About her. Yay. Okay. okay. Yay. What did all those questions have in common? Hair. Hair. Yay. Okay. All right. 
Now for the uh, for the chat. In what city did Samuel Colt establish his revolver factory? In what city Samuel Colt establish his revolver factory? Okay, one eye blind art. You be well too. All right. No, Liz. Uh, Kevin, you need the uh, city and state. You've got the state right, I'll give you that, but you need the city. The state is Connecticut. He needs the city. Yes, Hartford. Okay. Now, uh, this is the panel. Under what stage name did Saul Hudson play guitar in Guns N' Roses? No idea. Binky? Um, what's the name? Oh, gosh. Come on, you know this. This is Vicky's boyfriend. <laughs> she loves him. Is it? <laughs> Can't remember his name. Um, she's going to kill me for this one. Vicky the guy and... With, the guy with the top hat. <laughs> Vicky and... Hmm. I can't believe Linda doesn't know this stuff. Don't listen to anything called Motley Crue or Guns N' Roses. No, this is Guns N' Roses. Guns I just said I don't listen to them. Sharon, you should know this one. You put gun in your title. I'm not It's listening. a guitarist. It's I'll give you that. It's a guitarist. Come on. Yeah, that's that's her boyfriend. Starts with an S, I think. That's right. Oh, my gosh. Come on. See, that's, I got to do a call out. <laughs> no. <laughs> call her lifeline. Yeah. Michael, my friend. She's still alive. <laughs> Taking us off track now. <laughs> what the heck? Oh boy. Marianne even dressed up like him, and his, her and her boyfriend dressed up like him. So, his name is one name. One name. Yeah. Santana. Mm, no. No, I don't know. I wasn't. And I can't think of it. I like him now. I didn't like him initially. So I think about dropping the, prices. Slash. Yeah. Yay me. Yay. <laughs> okay. Now. Wow. <clears throat> to the chat. What organism was what organization, I'm sorry, was established oh. in 1871 to promote and encourage rifle shooting oh boy. on a scientific basis? That's right, Kevin, NRA. Okay, this is to the panel. What storytelling principle holds that if a gun appears in the final act of a play, it had better go off by the third? Act? I don't know. Wait, say What's the No, hold on a minute. What storytelling principle holds that if a gun appears in the first act of a play, it had better go off by the third? The climax? No. 
I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody in the chat know? Storytelling principle? I'm in the, was I on the right track? No. What storytelling principle holds that if a gun appears in the first act of a play, it had better go off by the third? I don't think anybody's going to get this one. I don't either. <laughs> Check loves gun. Nope. That. That's a storytelling principle. Okay. This is for Check the chat. Them. What's the name of the time when hunting and fishing is allowed in a given area? What is the name of that time? I know. I know. No, Kevin, almost. Nope. Oh. Your second word was right. No, painted black. Your second word is right, painted black. Take your first word and get something else. Yes, yeah, Shelly Joe, open season. Okay. Right on, Shelly. Now, this is for the chat. What baseball team was originally called? For the panel, you mean? Yeah, for the panel. Yeah. yeah. What baseball team was originally called the Colt 45s? I don't know. Colt 45s? Milwaukee? Milwaukee? No. Nope. I don't know. Pinky? Anybody? No. Houston Astros. No. Okay, what did all of those questions have in common? The guns. Guns. Okay. All right, let's see. And the password is, okay, they, um, this one is, this is for the chat. What Chinese city contains the forbidden city? What Chinese city contains the forbidden city? Phone chat is very slow. Kevin's answers are showing up even before. Oh, Kevin? Hmm. You're getting it. You're being admonished. Oh, because of the lag. Because you're hearing the question before them. I'm biting my lips again, and that's not good. Hi, lovely lyrics. I better put this on because I'm biting my lips. Singapore, no. I think you ought to play on the panel then, Kevin, and they could use your help. Oh. <laughs> Who said no, Pinky? No, I, I said I don't know that. Oh, okay. Hi, Kelly, sweetheart. Sweetheart. No, not Shanghai. Yeah. Nope. Beijing, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, the next one is for the panel. What 1972 Marlon Brando film caused controversy due to its part, excuse me, due in part to its butter scene? Butter scene? Yeah. Scene. Oh my gosh, guys, please. Even I know apocalypse. this. What? Apocalypse. Apocalypse, <laughs> did you say? I think I'm wrong, but I don't know what butter scene in a Brando movie. Oh boy. Neither. 
No one on the panel knows this. Godfather. No. I don't. I made a question. I was coming back in. All those are not in 72. This was a very, mm. very controversial movie because of this scene. And he put, and he didn't take the award and he let an Indian girl take it. What was the question? I missed it. Keep thinking. Oh, the okay, here's percent. the question. I'm going to read it again. What 1972 Marlon Brando film caused controversy due in part to its butter scene? Oh, I do. I'm sure when you say it, maybe I'll relive Chat, the butter Chat, steal scene. this away. Chat, steal this. You've got to know this. Somebody in the chat has got to know this or I'm shutting this show down right now. <laughs> this is, and I'll go back to true crime headlines because this is pathetic. Somebody has to know this. Come on. Paint it black. You know this. I know you know this. Flo on the go. I know you know this. Come on now. Godfather them was already years later. You're almost there, Flo, but you forgot one word. What? At least I know the one word only. Waterfront. Last tango in Paris. Yes. Whoa. My goodness. Okay, I'm scared. Next thing you're going to tell me, none of you have seen the Marathon Man. Okay. I haven't. I've seen that. You haven't? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. All right. This is for the uh, chat. What was banned in the United States from 1919 to 1933 in accordance with the 18th Amendment to the Constitution? Right, paint it black, alcohol. Yeah. Right. Okay, this is for the panel. What epic poem about transgression ends with the lines, they hand in hand with wand, with wandering steps and slow through, Eden took their solitary way. No idea. Uh, I don't know. Why do we get these questions? They hand in hand with wandering steps and slow through Eden took their solitary way. Adam and Eve. <laughs> uh -huh. Jack and Jill. Does the <laughs> chat know this? Hey, Mr. Electric. I hope you're good at trivia. <laughs> if you are, come on, panel. <laughs> See, she picks the hardest ones for us. No, I'm just going right down the line. And okay, the answer is Paradise Lost. Okay, mm. this is for the chat. What type of food? No, that was for the chat. No, that was for us. No, that was for you guys. Oh. Yep. Remember? I was saying Adam and Eve and Jack and Jill. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> Why how we forget? <laughs> no wonder I don't know any how. Okay. What type of food has been outlawed in Sardinia for health reasons? Is this to the panel? No. It's about time Chuck got one. And it's what type of food is casu 
Marzi, which has been outlawed in Sardinia for health reasons. Not meat. That's a tough one. No, it's not. Not corn. Does the panel know? I don't. Sardines. Cheese with live maggots. Uh oh. Okay. This is for the chat. What illegal activity is said to have inspired. Oh, this one for us. Okay, yeah, this is for you. What illegal activity is said to have inspired NASCAR racing? I know. It's Lasset. Auto cup. It's for panel moonshine. Grand Theft Auto. Moonshine. Bootlegging. Bootlegging, moonshine, yeah. Yeah. Yay, okay. Linda. And hey, what 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 did all those questions? See, we had sardines in a can. We had forbidden things that are forbidden. Mm. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the forbidden city. Remember that. All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is for the chat. What city's birds gained fame in the documentary "The Wild Parrots of Telegraph Hill"? I never even heard the wild parrots of Telegraph Maybe. Hill. What birds, what city's birds gained <laughs> popularity in the documentary The Wild Parrots of Telegraph Hill? What city? Hmm? Parrots. It's not for us. Is it, but it's not a bird. It, they want the city. I'm thinking about it. Okay. What cities, birds? Come on, Flo on the go. Where are you? Get back in the game. No, it's not a bird. It's a city you're looking for. Mr. Electric, it's a city. No. 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 Mr. Electric. Correct to Heart Made Wise. San Francisco. Yeah. One heart. Okay. Now this is for the panel. Who oh, was attacked by a white tiger named... I, I know who this is. I'm just trying to get his name. Montague, 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 yeah, you know who it is too. Yeah, Roy. Roy. Come on, Roy. Roy. You can do it, Roy. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It Roy. Okay. Yes, that's right. All right. So, let's go to the uh, chat. Okay. What pets were given as gifts by Britain's Queen Victoria? Where is it? Cockatoos. Corgis or ferrets? Okay. What pets were given as gifts by Britain's Queen Victoria? Cockatoos, corgis, or ferrets? Not corgis, nope. Not cockatoos. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh -uh. Oh, boy. I can't even imagine that. Here, I got you a ferret. Oh, thanks. Uh, no, I can't imagine. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Just what I always wanted. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, to the panel. What kind of pets did Joey Tribbiani have on Friends? No idea. Come on, guys. Never watched it. 
Joey Tribbiani. Did we nobody watched Friends. Bink, you didn't watch Friends. No, nope, I didn't. I just watched one episode. Me too. The bad I want to say fish. Dogs, cats. Kevin. I know who would know. Weasels, bears. No, I, I've said bears. that. Uh, uh, chat, steal this question. Joey Tribbiani's pets. Monkey. On Friends. Yeah, monkey. <laughs> that was I Ross that had a monkey. None of us watched that show. I just watched one episode. That's it. I did two. One. That's all I needed. Thank you very much. I didn't watch any. Shelly Joe, there's something besides a duck. A rooster. M E says a no P. <laughs> Flo got oh, it. What? Flo got it. <laughs> Duck and a chick. Oh. Okay. What? A duck and a chick. A chick. Oh well. Okay. Let's go on to the to the panel. What have people <laughs> been arrested for doing to toads in order to get high? I have no idea. What are they doing? <laughs> Sucking. I don't. I don't want to go. Is that for us? Is that for us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Can you read that again? Okay. What have people been arrested for doing to toads in order to get high? Shooting up toads. between the toads. The toads, the toads, like frogs. Toads. Toads. T O A D S. Like a frog, but a toad. They're licking them. I say eat them. They're licking them. Yes, they're licking them. I heard bizarre theory. I never heard oh them, but they say God. NPR reported on one God. family with a dog addicted to toads. Okay, this is for the chat. They're going to get warts. What school? What school's mascot is the banana slug? Um, <laughs> we'll do to you. Good lord. Banana slug. Oh. What school's mascot is the banana slug? <laughs> Holly has no clue. Does the chat, have, uh, the panel have any clue? No, I don't. No. Uh -huh. Maybe I can leave schools. Okay. Never even heard of a banana slug. The answer is the University of California at Santa Cruz. Does anybody know <laughs> the common theme? You probably won't. It's exotic pets. I was say weird things like animal stuff. Okay, let's go to this one now. Um, this is the panel. In 19, 1997, doctors in what state issued a widespread warning against eating squirrel brains. Oh, dear. Oh, no. In 1997, doctors in what state 
issued a widespread <laughs> warning against eating squirrel brains. New York. <laughs> West Virginia? Nope. Kentucky. Yes, Kentucky. It was well, believed the delicacy could spread a variant of mad cow disease. I don't believe people do that. I'm That's sorry. Just, it's for dinner, uh, Mom. Squirrel brains. Okay. All right. This is for the chat. What is Steve Martin's character? What? I said we just had squirrel brains last week. Do we have to have them again? I know. Right? Chat. <laughs> What is Steve Martin's character's profession in The Man with Two Brains? I'm sorry, Flo. I don't, I don't write the questions. I just read them. I can't help you. What did Flo say? She said, this is getting gross. <laughs> what is Steve Martin's character's profession in The Man with Two Brains? Do, 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 do. Come on, let's go. Firefighter and scientist are wrong. Trash collection is wrong with lovely lyrics. Car salesman is wrong. Doctor. You have to be more specific, painted black. You're on the right track. You just haven't arrived at the station yet. Uh, Roy, nope, not a psychologist. She's on the right track with doctor. Psychiatric doctor, no. Eye doctor, no. Right, a heart may wise brain surgeon. Okay. Now, this is the panel. What ancient medical procedures still in use involves drilling holes in the skull. Lobotomy? Frontal lobotomy? Final answer. <coughs> to really pressure in the brain? I don't know. They want the term for it. Craney... Don't know. Lobotomy? Craney Chat. Sure. Did I have it right, but I don't have the technical term? Trepidation. Trepidation. Okay, this is for the chat. What, what is Encyclopedia's Encyclopedia Brown's real first name? Encyclopedia Brown. What is his real first name? Been a while on that. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Head is wrong. Okay, does the chat know this? Okay. Oh, you got it, Leroy Flow. 
Right. Okay. So this is the chat's question. What animal has the largest brain? And I just mentioned this animal yesterday on our auction. What animal has the largest brain? Is this for us? Yeah. I don't know. Elephant. No. A pig. No. I just mentioned this yesterday on our auction. Okay. Chat, would you like to steal this? You mentioned an animal in the auction? Mm -hmm. I, I know. know. Hmm. Rhinoceros. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was the sperm whale. Oh, Remember I was showing go. the little coin purse and I said, is this sperm oh, whale? Yeah. Okay. All right. This is for the panel. Oh, the little purse. Now I remember. Okay, hold on. In 2008, several retired NFL players agreed in advance to donate their brains for research to understand the long-time effects of what injury? Concussion. It had to do with the brain. Concussion. With the brain cocoon or whatever. Concussion. And what did all those questions have to do with? Brain. Brains. Very good. Okay. Let's see. All right. This is for the chat. In what state? Hold on a minute. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. What 1988 film about a cocaine addicted real estate salesman? Stars an actor who would go on to play Batman. And it's for the chat. And you're looking for the name of the film. What, 19? It's 98. It's not 88. 98 film about a cocaine-addicted real estate salesman, stars an actor who would go on to play Batman. Or was it 1988? It might be 1988, but I think it might be 1998. If I had better glasses, I could tell you. I think I know who it is, son. <laughs> Please send better glasses. <laughs> Paint it black, you could buy my love with better glasses. <laughs> I think it's 1988. It's who I think it is. Paint it black, we're looking for the name of the movie. You've got the actor, you need the name of the movie. Name of the movie. Not live from Baghdad. Does the chat know? I mean, the panel? What was the question? Some movie? The name of the 19... I think it's 
88 film about a cocaine addicted real estate salesman starting actor who went on to play Batman okay the answer was clean and sober mm. okay How did I get lipstick on my cards? Okay. Now, this is for the panel. What was the first organized support group treatment program in the United States? Is that for us? Yeah. Alcoholics Anonymous. Yes. Correct. Okay, this is for the chat. How many strips are there, excuse me, how many steps are there in Alcoholics Anonymous program? How many steps are there in the Alcoholics Anonymous program? I know that. Mm -hmm. How many steps? Well, correct heart made wise. Yeah. Okay. And this is for the panel. What Heisman Trophy winner and admitted marijuana user switched to meditation, which he says provides him with the same feeling of being free? Crystal Walker. I don't know. No idea. Trophy winner. Heisman uh, Trophy winner. Does it say what year? No. Uh, the name is Ricky Williams. Never. Was. And all of those had to do with substances. Okay. All right. This is for the chat. What French landmark was largely considered an eyesore when first erected in 18... It's 89. That's easy. Leaning Tower of Pisa. No, no. French. Sorry. Oh, that term, though. Well, tower. <laughs> but no, but it's for the chat. Oh, yes. Yeah. Eiffel Tower, right, Emmy, yes. Okay, this is for the chat now. I mean, for the panel. Who played Annie, Wil Annie, Annie Wilkes, Paul Sheldon's number one fan? This is so easy in the movie Misery. Come on. This is so easy. Kathy you guys don't Bates. get this. I'm shutting this down. I swear. Kathy. Yes, Kathy, Kathy Bates. Bates. Oh boy, you guys had me scared for a minute. That Binky, are a, you still that playing? That was a wicked movie. Binky, are you still playing? Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. This is for the chat. What political I've been on thing? mute. I've been on mute the whole time, Carol. Well, come on like, now. Hey. These people need help. They almost didn't get <laughs> Kathy Bates, okay? Okay. All right. This is for the chat. What political figure accidentally shot his friend while they were quail hunting in 2000 and... What is that? Oh, I know that. That's so funny. I know it, too. Mm -hmm. It was but, funny, wasn't it? Shot yeah. his best friend in the face. Yep. That's not funny. I was just going to say that. Not funny if you're the friend. Right. Not so funny. Yeah. Some people just shouldn't have a gun. No, Mr. Electric. They've made well, lots of good jokes on late night TV, though. I haven't heard a peak roaming. Uh uh. Nothing. Are they getting it? No. Oh my gosh. Can I say it? 
No way. Okay. Yeah. Not yet. Dick. Now we got it. Shelly Joe got it. Cheney. Yeah, Dick, Dick Cheney. Cheney. Okay. Yay, Shelly Joe. Yay, Shelly Joe. This is for the Yay. panel. What sense can be totally lost from talking, excuse me, from taking too much Vicodin? What sense what, what? can be totally lost from taking too much Vicodin? Sight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Did you say what stance? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taste. Mm -hmm. Smell. We got a sense of taste, sense of smell. Oh, all my senses. Thank you. Hearing. Hearing. Yeah. Thank you. All right. You can take the hearing? Yeah. Hearing. Can you hear My me, Linda? Can, can you hear me say it again? Okay. <laughs> Throw that in the garbage. All right. Ready? Uh, this goes to the chat. Who had part of his ear bitten off by Mike Tyson? Oh, oh please. Who's this for? Not yeah, this is for the chat. Let me think now what his name was. Oh, yeah. I was there. You were there when the biting happened? It was a big deal in Vegas. Yeah, I, I was there. I wasn't at the fight, but I know who it was. Right. Uh, Vander Hollyfield. That's right. Okay. That's right. And what do all those questions have in common? Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> bit him. I mean, come on. What about the year? Okay, this is for the panel. In what city can you find a giant sculpture, Spoonbridge and Cherry? What the heck is that? Spoonbridge and cherry? That's a sculpture? Mm hmm. Uh, if it's for the panel, I, I personally don't know. Okay, anybody in the chat, you're not going to get that. It's Where's Minneapolis. Ben and Jerry's at? <laughs> the cherry portion of the 7,000 pound sculpture is a fountain. Okay. Where? What city? Minneapolis. Where? Okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is for the chat. Okay. What Today Show personality posted as his own wax statue at Madame Trousseau's ca uh, catching unsuspected visitors off guard by talking to them? Today Show mm -hmm. host personality. Okay. Posed as his own wax. No, this is not yours. Wax oh. statue. Right. No, this is not yours. Okay. This is there. Okay. <laughs> At Madame Trousseau's, catching people off guard by talking to them when they pass by. Who was that? What today show personality? Al Roker. Yes, Holly. Very good, Holly. The chat is lucky to have you. Okay. <laughs> Now, this is for the panel. The Statue of Liberty was inspired by which of the seven wonders of the ancient world? Shiva, um, I don't know. Hanging Gardens of Babylon. No. Um, I'm going to have to pass. Okay. Colossus of Rhodes. Now. What is it? Colossus Rose. of Rhodes. Now let's go to the, the chat. What 20th century artist made a sculpture of a bull's head from a bicycle seat and handlebars? What 20th century artist, you're looking for the artist, made a sculpture of a bull's head from bicycle seat and handlebars. 
20th century artist. One eye blind arts. I know it's not for us. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know this is this is maybe this was not a good idea we need a little more action people a little more action I have a wind advisory it's coming across my computer a little more action uh, flow on the go got it Picasso yes okay this is for the panel what common sculpture material is an alloy of primarily copper and tin? Bronze. Yes. Yay, Sharon. Yay, okay, now we're going to the chat. What trophy was modeled after the 1930s NYU football player Ed Smith? What trophy? Modeled after a football player. Come on, guys. This is not a big stretch. All right. Hello. Pink football trophies. No, this is a chat. Oh, Heisman. Yes, Flo. I'm talking to the chat. The Heisman. Yes. Thank you. And that, all of that had to do with sculpture. Okay. Ah. My goodness. Uh -huh. This is for the chat for the panel. Okay. An annual an annual Twin Days Festival, Twin Days, is held in the town of Twinsburg in what state? New Jersey. Wrong. Illinois, Ohio. Ohio. Virginia. Okay, there we go. There okay. times the charm. Okay, this is for the chat. Who is not a twin? Anne Hathaway, Scarlett Johansson, Ashton Kutcher, or Kiefer Sutherland? I know that one. Watch the clock. Which one is not a twin? Anne Hathaway, Scarlett Johansson, Ashton Kutcher, or Kiefer Sutherland? Which one is not a twin? Correct, low on the go, Anne Hathaway. Okay, this is for the panel. Who were the first twins to live in the White House? Barbara and Jenna Bush. Correct. Yay. Okay. <coughs> Have there been any twins since then? No. no. Oh, not to my okay. knowledge. Not to okay, here we go to the chat. A shot of twins by what photographer inspired a scene in the movie The Shining. A shot of twins by what photographer inspired a scene in the movie The Shining? You're looking for the photographer, which you'll probably never get. No. I can see the scene though. Little boy on the bike. It would bike. have been easier if they made you guess the movie. Yeah, the little boy on the big wheel looking down the... Red rum is his Torrance. Hotel. Red yeah. rum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very scary. I miss his Torrance. <laughs> What's the answer, chat? 
Come on, chat. Okay, you're not going to get it. None, none of you are going to get it. I don't know any people. I know you're not. Diane Orbus. Okay, I told you you wouldn't get it. 30 years old, 40 years old. Now, this is for the panel. What is the more common word used to describe twins who are who are dies dies I got it dies I got it yes fraternal twins correct okay this is for the chat in baseball what is a twin what is a in baseball, what is a twin bill also called? Oh boy. Is that bill? Twin? A, a twin bill also called? In baseball, what is a twin bill also called? A twin bill? Yeah. Double header. Yeah, Flow knows uh, what's going on there. Scared. What is all of that about? Twins. Yeah, okay. I need and what I need new glasses. Okay. <laughs> this is for the chat, uh, this panel. What sprawling structure in San Jose, California has been called the world's strangest monument to a woman's fear? Panel? I well, I, I, people have talked about this here. Say it again. Okay. Castle? What sprawling structure in San Jose, California, has been called the world's strangest monument to a woman's fear? Hmm. Is it the panel or what? a chat? You, you're, play, <laughs> you're playing music. Okay. You're I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh okay, we're going to have to get rid of you. <laughs> You're going to have to sing now, Kevin. We're going to have to get rid of you now. Okay, it is the panel. If you shut your music, you can answer the question. Uh -huh. Winchester. Yes, Winchester Mystery House. Oh, I was close. Okay. I was, they're not a sculpture. Now, okay. this is for the chat. Chat. Yeah. What, fi what fictional terrorist organization often finds its plans halted in the early is it halted in the early James Bond films? Oh. What fictional terrorist organization? Hi, K-Rox. How are you? I still haven't got your email. But I haven't really checked very much. Don't retract your messages. It's okay. We're just playing trivia. Um, no. Come on, James Bond, guys. you got to watch this. I don't watch it, but maybe you did. All in a lifeline. The syndicate? Nope. Come on, guys. I would be doing better if the, we had some more interaction in this chat with this trivia because it's getting to be crazy. Come mm. on. Come on, guys. It's the special executive for counterintelligence terrorism Revenge and extortion. Sorry, guys, you didn't get it. 
Okay, this is for the panel. What fabled ghost ship, ghost ship, was found sailing in the, where were we trying? In the, uh, in the, is that the Azones? In 1872, with not a soul aboard. Azores or Azones? Azores. Is it in the Azores? Azores. Okay. I really need to get better glasses. In 1872, with not a soul on board. I don't know. I can't think of it. I know the story. Okay. Anybody? Oh, gosh. We lost Binky. That was not nice, Binky. Oh. Now you've left us with no one. Huh? Come on. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Binky, they need you. Let's go. Uh, the Mary Celeste. I think we've been insulted, Mark. Okay. <laughs> now, this Kevin, is the chat. What Texas town known for its art scene is notoriously home to ghost lights? Texas town known for... Its art scene is notoriously known for its ghost lights. Where's the Texas people? Come on. I think I might know. You got it, K Rocks. Uh, Mary is, Celeste, but now you've got to answer this one. What is it, San Antonio? No, it's not your question. I thought she guessed it. You could tell me. No, she didn't guess it yet. She, oh. she got an answer to your question from I'll before. Be Binky, get your connection back again. We're ne you're needed up here. Please, Binky. I've got important stuff to discuss with you. <laughs> Let's have a flash sale. I know. I need to have a flash sale. Let's do it. Get out of here, Abby. <laughs> no, you're all wrong. It's Marfa. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is the panel. What creature would not, would not interest... A cryptozoologist, sea dragon, a yeti, or a um, a, a chupacuba, a chupacarba. Oh, answer this. Go ahead, answer it. Capybara. No. The oh, answer yeah. is sea dragon. Okay. Sorry. Black nest, but aren't they coming into the Texas coast or something blue? I don't know. Bear. Okay, this is for yeah. the chat. Bear. What slumber party staple spells out mysterious answers to your questions? Oh boy. Here we go. Binky, get your connection back. Let's go. <laughs> Pika, no. Flo. Ouija board. Yes, Flo, on the go. Okay. Now to another topic. Okay, this is for the, the um, panel. What Liverpool Street street signs were stolen so often that officials started Painting the name on the sides of the buildings. Abbey Road. Abbey Road. Wrong. No. What? It's wrong. Penny Lane. I don't know how to oh. get back up here, Binky. 
no, you didn't no. get bumped. Let's go. Get up here, Abby. Apparently we're garbage without you. Now let's go to the <laughs> chat. What musical trio joined Peter Frampton to play the title role of the movie Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band? What musical trio joined Peter Frampton to play the role of the the role of the movie Sgt. Pepper Lonely Hearts Club Band? Well, try harder, Binky. Try harder. <laughs> Fleetwood Mac, no. Bee Gees is correct, K Rocks. Okay, the next one. This is for the panel. What was the first Beatles song to hit number one on the American Singles chart? Either Animal Hand or Twist and Show, I think. I think it's I Want to Hold Your Hand. Oh, I Want to Hold good. Your Hand, that's the answer. Okay, the next one is for the chat. What Beatles song was written for Mia Farrow's sister? What Beatles song was written for Mia Farrow's sister? I didn't even know she had a sister. I think I know the song. Why does your leg hurt, the lovely lyrics? Is someone pulling it? <laughs> no, not Strawberry Hill. Not Hey Jude. Dear Prudence, yes, so oh, a heart made wise. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Prudence Pharaoh met the band in India while at a spiritual retreat. Okay. Now, this is for the chat uh, panel. What plant is Paul McCartney's song, Got to Get You Into My Life, an ode to? <laughs> Didn't know it was. Marijuana. Didn't know it was. Oh, you sat on it too long or something? Oh, okay. Jump around. Jump. Start jumping around. Just jump up and down. Nobody knows what this is? What plant? Cannabis? Yes, marijuana. Okay. I said yeah. that a minute ago. But oh, I didn't hear you say it because you speak too, slow, too low. I thought maybe you were waiting for a more technical term. Oh, okay. Next. Oh, I was waiting for the chat. This is to... for the chat. At what stadium did the Beatles play their final public concert? At what stadium? I know that. No, Liz Tops. Oh, 
Okay, they don't know it. Do you know it on the panel? No, I'm just guessing the Giants. Uh, are not our Pam. Is it in the Oh, there, Hart May Wise got it. Candlestick Park. And they ended with Lone Tall Sally. Okay. All right. This is for the chat. What is the top turkey producing U.S. state? California, Minnesota, or Texas? Turkey. Gobble, gobble. Which one produces the most turkeys? California, Minnesota, or Texas? and put sweatpants over my pajama pants and they were crumpled up and I just sat too long. Okay, I'll take your other pants off and jump around. <laughs> I leave the air conditioner on because I cannot stand to be hot. Minnesota, correct K-Rocks. Okay, this is for the panel. What popular Christmas carol is said to have been originally composed for Thanksgiving? Christmas. Which What's one? That? White Christmas. No. Okay. Over the river and through the woods. Grandmother's no. house. Jingle bells. Oh boy. The original really? title was One Horse Open Sleigh. Okay, this is for the, the chat. What was not the title of a Thanksgiving cover illustration for this Saturday Evening Post? You want the one that was not a cover. Is it Barking Up the Wrong Turkey? Pass the Sauce? No, this is for the chat, Linda. Trimming the Pie? Or Turkey in the Tree? Which one was not an illustration for the cover of the Saturday Evening Post. Barking up the wrong tree, excuse me, barking up the wrong turkey, past the sauce, trimming the pie, or turkey in the tree. What do you mean which PayPal is correct? What are you talking about? For what? I didn't send you a request yet. Just wait till I send you a request. Pass the sauce is right, K Rocks. Very good. Okay. This is for the panel. What amino acid is often cited as the cause of after turkey drowsiness? That's so easy. Tryptophan. Right. Yeah. And this is for the chat now. What two NFL teams always play on Thanksgiving, though not against each other? Uh, I know. Chat? Oh, you need to buy some love. Don't worry. Uh. Okay. You missed the question. What two teams, football teams, always play on Thanksgiving, though not against each other? Niners and the New York Giants. No. Mm 
Okay, do you want to steal it, panel? The lion Karen says she knows. You got the one, Heart Made Wise. Which one did she get? The Cowboys. The Detroit Lions. I said the Lions and the Cowboys. Okay, okay. All right. Don't you mind me? I'm just... <laughs> Where's Lions Kevin? Even. Calm down. And calm down. Okay. <laughs> now this is for the panel. What California <laughs> Bay does the documentary City of the Shark center on? What California Bay? City of the Shark documentary. I'm sorry that you do paint it black. Okay, you don't know it on the panel? What is... No, I... I okay. Okay. The question for the panel is, who would like to come on the panel and play? Come on, hurry up, call in, let's go. Because we need panel people. We need some panel people <laughs> stat, okay? Because the panel is falling asleep. What California Bay does the documentary City of the Shark... Center on what California Bay painted black. Call in and get on the panel. Let's go. We need panel people. Hart, get in on the panel. Come on now. We San need panel Francisco. people. Bink, get in on the panel. San, San Francisco. Yes, the San Francisco I Bay. Yeah. I said, but we can't hear you. Yes. You need a bigger, better mic. Okay, okay. now. Wait. This is what TV show inspired the phrase, <laughs> jump the shark. What TV show, this is for the chat, inspired right. the phrase, jump the shark. Not sure, but no. Yeah, Kevin's rooting for everybody. Of course. Okay. Now we're looking for a TV show. Can we get to they steal watch. it? No, Jeanette. Hello, Jeanette. Oh. Hi, Jeanette. Shark Tank. <laughs> no. When do we get to steal it? Now. Happy days. Yes. Okay. Was, it oh, was they, comes from the episode the where the Fonz does a water ski jump over a shark. Okay. Next. What species this is for the panel. What species of shark was discovered only in nineteen seventy six off the coast of Oahu? Great white. Nope. No. No shark. Something off the coast of Oahu in 1976. A shark. A type of shark. You're missing the questions. Lovely lyrics. You need to open your ears. How are you missing them? Put on your listening shark. ears. It is the yeah. mega mouth. Not to be convinced, yeah. confused with the mega millions. This species is distinguished by its enormous mouth and small teeth. Oh, okay. small teeth is a good thing. All enormous right. Enormous mouth would be bad. Now, so. this is for the chat. Who wrote the novel 
Jaws. I thought it was our turn now. No, you just had you missed the Mega Mouth Shark. No, that was theirs. No, that was yours. <sighs> Listening ears. <laughs> Okay, K Roxies. Let's go run the next question, K Rox. Who Maybe wrote right. Jaws? K Rox. Who wrote it? Who's the author? Orca. No, that was the name of the boat. The author of Jaws. No, um, Kelly, like sweetheart. Can we steal? Not yet. They've only had three guesses. <laughs> now I'm ahead of the game. We'll get behind you. Spielberg, no. Really? No. You didn't read the book? Steven Spielberg, nope. No. Wrong. Wrong. They've guessed enough. Can we have it now? Peter Bradford something. No, you've got one name right. It's not Bradford. Right, Shelly Joe. She got the end. Yes. Peter Benchley. Okay, next up. This okay. is for the panel. What yeah. is the largest largest species of shark the great white the great white wrong Megadon. oh it's the whale shark or something it's the Megadon. whale shark the or whale. the basking shark and it can exceed like 40 Megadon. feet in length whoa okay this yeah. is the chat here next okay yeah. Surfer Bethany Hamilton won her first national title two years after losing her left arm to what kind of shark? This is for the chat. What kind of shark took her arm off? It's not awful. Oh. A bull shark? No. A white shark? No. Great white? No. In Venice, Florida, a whale beached itself 70 feet long. Wow, well, that's kind of gross. Tiger shark, correct, Hart made wise. A 70 foot sperm whale beached itself on the sandbar off the coast of Florida yesterday. Mm. Speaking of whales. Okay. They try that, but you didn't you ever think maybe that's what whales do when they die? I know, right? Because it's every one right. they're not able to save. I've never seen, any time I've ever seen one of these things, they can't save it. The, the whale dies. And maybe, does anybody think maybe when a whale dies, that's what it does? Yeah, that's what it does. And the other, sometimes if they're a pack of males, I heard that they'll beach all, they'll all beach in compassion with the other one. Yeah, but I, I, I never even understood that. Is it like, I'd see them, they'd try, we'll bring it out, we'll bring it out, we'll bring it out. It's like, maybe that's where whales go to die. Um, right? They just stop swimming and they just beach themselves there and they just want to die a peaceful death. And they got a guy towing them out to sea. And the whale's like, look, this is where we go to die. Would you leave us to freak alone? Okay. Um, 
I, I don't know. I mean, you think they would get it. Have they ever saved one? I, I've never seen every everyone I've seen. It's been a disaster. Okay. Let's go to sci-fi. <clears throat> who told a room full of Trekkies? And whose is this? The chats. The chat. Who told a room? No, it's yours. They got Tiger Shark. Who told a room full of Trekkies get a life during a guest spot on Saturday Night Live? That's easy. Who told a room full of truckies? Kevin, are you in the game? I have no idea. I don't know the truckies. They need you. They need you. Sarah, do you know what a truckie is? Trekkie. Star Trek. Person. William Shatner. Yes. Okay. Now, this is for the chat. What movie was not, and the, the key word is, was not directed by Steven Spielberg, who we just spoke about. You guys thought he wrote Jaws. <laughs> Alien, E.T., The Extraterrestrial, Minority Report, or Artificial Intelligence, A.I., which one was not directed by Steven Spielberg? Come on, come on. Correct, flow on the go. Alien. Okay, this is for the panel. What sci-fi legend was one of the first to have his ashes buried in space? Sci-fi legend. Bradbury? Who? Ray Bradbury? No. No. Leonard Nimoy. No. Carl Sagan. Hmm? No. Carl Sagan. Um, Gene Roddenberry. There you go. Okay. Well, wow. Okay, this is for the chat. What comedy series follows the adventures of Arthur... Arthur Dent and his alien friend Ford Perfect. Ford Prefect. Who is that? Arthur Dent and his alien friend Ford Prefect. What comedy series? That I have no idea. Our question to the chat. No, there's. That's what I thought. No. I don't think any of you are going to get this. It's called ebook reader. In the series, the guide itself is a handheld electronic book. It's crazy. Okay, let's do this one now for the panel. What sport did astronaut Alan Shepard try out on the moon during Apollo 14 mission? What sport? Golf. Yeah. What happened to my camera? How did it turn off? Okay. Now, um, okay, we did those. Please get something. Okay. All right. Um, this is for the chat. Name one of the two U.S. states whose official tree is the palmetto. Okay? Name one of the two U.S. states whose official tree is the palmetto.
Florida, Mary Warren. And, wow. Extra credit, does anyone know the next one? California. South Carolina. South Carolina. Oh. Okay. Now for the panel. In what, Mon in what Monty Python film is the hero ordered to cut down the mightiest tree in the forest with a herring? In what Monty Python film? Oh, no. Kevin? Margot? <laughs> Anyone? Where's Binky? She deserted us she did. in our hour of need. Oh, was that our question? Yes. Oh. Can you repeat? Python film is the hero ordered to cut down the mightiest tree in the forest with a herring. I don't know. The life of Brian? No. No. I... Okay. Now, let's see. Good night, go. Mary. Good night, Mary. Thanks for playing. Good night, Mary. Okay. Good night, Mary. What type of tree is the... General Sherman, the world's largest tree. Oh, and that's know. for the chat. What type of tree? Night, Mary. You're my best friend. What type of tree? Redwood, nope. An oak, nope. Redwood, nope. A blue spruce, nope. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Does anybody on the panel know? Sequoia? The giant sequoia, yes. Okay, you had to get your dog? Okay, that's okay, mister. I mean, lovely. Okay. So this one, next one, is the panel. What type of creature is Treebeard in The Lord of the Rings? Oh, no, that's not your question. Your question, no, that is your question. What type of creature is Treebeard in the Lord of the Rings? What type of creature? I never saw it. Never read. Kevin, Margot, yeah. anyone? Okay. All the movies, I don't remember. What? I can't remember. I said what I saw part. the movies, but I don't remember. All right, I didn't. An ent, an e n t, an ent. An ent. An ent. I wonder. I didn't remember. <laughs> no. Okay. Now this is so easy for the chat. By what process do trees create food out of sunlight? This is so easy. Let's go. Science one hundred and one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right, Flo, but now your question is about trees making food from sunlight. What is it called? <laughs> it's all screaming at once. Right, Holly, photosynthesis. Okay. Synthesis. Now. This is for the panel. What NHL owner, after establishing the New York Rangers, put the Toronto Maple Leafs on the map? I have no idea. Come on, Margot. I have no clue. 
Toronto Maple Leafs, Margo. Don't you like hockey? I know. Toronto Leafs. Come on now. I don't know because I don't watch the Leafs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> do you watch? Don't you? What? Who do you watch? I watch the Senators. Con Smythe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, this oh, is for oh, the yeah. chat. In what country would you snack on a Stroop waffle? Oh. Uh, Jeanette's in here. Um, in what country would you snack on a Stroop waffle? That is so slow. I know you, you've got to make it go faster. You've got to type fast and keep it going. When there's a, a lull, just type a number and keep it going. You've got to keep it going. Once you get the momentum up, it'll keep going. Belgium, no. Come on, Jeanette. Stroop waffle. Germany, France, wrong, wrong. Sweden, wrong. Holland, not wrong. Panel? Holland. Holland. I'll tell you uh, that Stroop waffle is Dutch for syrup waffle. Oh, wow. Okay, but in what country? They, they want to know something bigger. Come on. Belgium? The, Switzerland, Sweden? The Netherlands. The Netherlands. The Netherlands, yes. the Netherlands Stroop. Okay. Now, here's... Oh, Here's the next question, okay? All right. This is for you guys. What treat does Homer Simpson's head turn? Okay. What treat does Homer Simpson's head turn into in Treehouse of Horror 4? What treat does Homer Simpson's? Come on, this is easy. Is that a question? Yes. Ever. Donut. Yes, right. Oh, oh my goodness, that's so easy with the pink donut. Come on. Okay, this is for the chat. What yogurt in a tube <laughs> debuted in 1999? Yogurt in a tube. I can't believe it was only 1999. Yogurt in a tube. I'm really out of touch. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, it's that's old yogurt in a tube. <laughs> almost, Holly. Almost. You're almost there. You hear that wind? Yeah. Gogurt, right there, Holly, right. Yeah. Okay, now, the next one is for the panel. What cookie is also the nickname of a popular sculpture at Villanova University, where my brother graduated from? And they got a cookie associated with them? What cookie is also the nickname of a popular sculpture at Villanova University? Catholic University. Villanova University. Let's go. Come on, Snickerdoodle. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, no. no. What did you say, Sharon? I was thinking the same thing as you. Oh, okay. No. Cookie. Cookie, cookie, cookie. 
A waffle cookie? No. <laughs> Sugar cookie. No. Chocolate Did anybody in the chat cookie. know? Chocolate chip. No. It's not ours. Ginger snap. Yes, it is. Oh, it, it is ours. It is yours. Big Newton? No. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Simple cookie. Yeah. Where's little lighty? Little lighty. Where's she been? We need you here. Thumbprint cookies. No. Um. Oh wait, where is this? Villanova University. Jam jam. I can't believe none of you have guessed the cookie. Come on. Peanut butter cookie. An Oreo. Yes! Boy, Yay. Oreo is not going to be happy watching this. <laughs> okay. Okay. The black and white sculpture is officially titled The Awakening, but it is more commonly called the Oreo. Now, you learned something. All right. What is the, now this is for the chat. What is the common name for the, this is going to be fun without my glasses, Thorough Fors, Forsdia, a creature some people eat fried. Thorough Forsdia, the common name for it, that some people eat, a creature that some people eat fried. Come on, come on. You say creature, I might know what it is. I doubt it. Okay. And they eat it fried. Yeah. Who are they? People. <laughs> people. <laughs> people who love people. They're the luckiest people of course they love in the people, world. But... <laughs> people who need people. People, people who need people. Crap, wrong. Scallops, wrong. You're not going to get this. Evie, we need you. Octopus, nope. You're not going to get this. Squid, no. Frog, no. It's the tarantula. Oh, get out. <laughs> I've never heard of anybody eating them fried, okay? Now, this is... What? Now, this is, now you're going to have to think. Now, this is for the panel. What color are the Keebler Elves hats? Keebler Elves. What color is their hat? The Keebler Red. Elves. Yellow? Red. Red, I think. Red? Or purple. <laughs> Red. Red <laughs> with a jaunty yellow band. Uh, yellow. I knew I saw yellow in my mind. Okay. Those little elves. That the yellow red part, right? And Linda said yellow, so we were all okay. right. Okay. Now. Uh -huh. <laughs> Call on him now. <clears throat> Do this one. This is for the chat. What product inspired sleeved partygoers to show up at Chicago's Lincoln Park for a pub crawl? What product inspired sleeved partygoers to show up at Chicago's Lincoln Park for a pub crawl?
Come on. Come on. Let me have to type and see if I can get Binky back here. What is it, Carol? I'm trying to get Binky on here. No, oh, you told us it was the spider. See, that oh, went that, right through. That was, yeah, but we're on a different question now. And... <laughs> okay. Gross. Your brain hurts, Flo. Come on. Gore-Tex, no. It's the Snuggie. The Snuggie. blanket with sleeves. Also, there's another brand called the Slanket, but they wanted the Snuggie. The okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a slanket. I reviewed one on my blog. They sent me a slanket. It was a very nice slanket, and I and I they sent me the snuggie too. So I have snuggie hands. Like, okay. I've seen on TV. This is for you. Yes, I, I've seen on TV. Okay. <laughs> uh, what '70s product was sold with the line, "Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later." This is for the panel, right? This is for you guys. What hey, 70s product was sold with the line, Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. Is it a deodorant? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. We're taking applications for the panel. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. Now and later, uh, candy. No. No. Mr. Microphone. Um, okay, now this is for the chat. What ceramic sense. classic released a Barack Obama edition during his first year as president? What ceramic classic? Oh, we I were know. just talking about this painted black. We were talking about this last I night, which you wanted did. to do. I know what they did. I know what they put out. But it's for the chat. Come on. I think I know. I might not know. <laughs> not a bobblehead. No flow. Mm-mm. Oh, I want to say it. Can you use your inside voice? <laughs> My inside voice. Flo? Come on, Flo. The chat's moving slow because you're not typing. Flow, flow, let's go. <laughs> Five more, ten more Salt seconds. Salt and pepper shakers, new. Yeah. I'm going to blurt it. <laughs> I'm going to blurt it. <laughs> Napkin holder. No! I'm gonna, let me blurt it. Okay. Chia. Ch -ch -ch Chia, pet. <laughs> okay. My gosh. Ridiculous insult. Whatever. Okay, here we go. This is for the <laughs> panel. What autobiography is titled The Sales... Whose autobiography is titled The Salesman of the Century? No, I do. Yes, you do. do. Set it and forget it. The salesman of the century. Oh, uh, Billy. Billy, well, I don't know. Ron, oh, no. 
Correct, Ron Popeil. Okay, this is for the chat. What product turns tomato gardening upside down? What product turns tomato gardening upside down? That's for the chat. Deer came up and eat it. I was so pleased with it till the deer ate it. Binky Gregory's back. Thank you. Why isn't anybody letting in, Binky? I'm trying. Okay. I did okay. it. I have to do everything around here. Topsy Turvy right okay. there, Holly. Topsy Turvy. Okay, here's the next one. We are so This gullible. is for the panel. What product that helps you squeeze, squeeze your way to shapely hips and thighs is endorsed by Suzanne Summers. That is so freaking Thigh easy. Master. The thigh, thigh master. master. Yes. Okay. Now, here we go for the chat. What U.S. city has a neighborhood called Froggy Bottom? I know that. Well, I think I know it too. Froggy Bottom, what U.S. city has a neighborhood called Froggy Bottom? You put Chia Pet in there? I'm sorry, Hartman Wise, I did not see it. I'm a one-man show here. I, no, I didn't see it, see it either. And I want to answer this question. Chat gets all the hard ones. No, you don't. You guys are getting such easy ones, Flo. I want to answer this one. <laughs> I did email you. I don't know why you're not getting them. I don't know why. Are you sure you're putting .org and not .com? Oh my gosh, I love her. She passed away not long ago. Right. Oh my goodness. Can I answer the question? <laughs> not yet. It's not Florida, Emmy. It's a city. What U.S. city has a neighborhood called Froggy Bottom? Come on. Froggy Bottom. It's foggy bottom. All right, you might as well answer it. It's Washington, D.C. Yes, okay, this is for the panel. When film director owns, what film director owns wineries in the Sonoma County and the Napa Valley? What film director owns wineries in the Napa Valley and Sonoma County? Oh. All of them. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. Hello, Sassy Darcy. What is it? Spielberg, right? No. Taco Place. Who? Say it again, Binky. No, I was I was talking to my husband. Oh, okay, so you had it. Okay. <laughs> Sharon said Steinberg. What did you say, Sharon? Steven Spielberg, but it's no. not. No. Hmm. No. So why not have the name on it? I guess it would. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't drink Francis a Ford Coppola. Coppola. Okay, this is for the chat. What country's citizens coined the term? Oh no, she did. Who fell off? Molotov yeah. cocktail when fighting Soviet invaders in 1939. What country's citizens? That for the panel? No, for the chat. Okay. Do you know it? No. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'd say Russia. Okay. How are you talking about Angelina and Brad? You'll be back. You have to do something. Okay, Kevin. Now the panel has one less. 
All right, the answer is, repeat the question. Oh my goodness. What <clears throat> country's citizens coined the term Molotov cocktail when fighting Soviet invaders in 1939? What country citizens? You're looking for a country. The answer is a country. You're rooting for them all, Kevin. They need it. Badly. They do need it. Wineries. Oh, you guys are still on wineries. Um, guys, we've moved on. Poland, <laughs> no. No? Not Poland. Oh. Ukraine, no. <clears throat> oh my gosh, Yugoslavia, no. Austria? It's 24 degrees. I just hope you know that we have, right now, high wind, 24 and snowing, okay? It's a cruel joke. No. All right. It's a lot of chocolate. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Mexico. No. The answer is Finland. Oh. Uh, no, never would have got that. Okay, this is for the panel. Oh, boy. What Mickey Rourke film was written by Charles Bukowski? No idea. Uh -huh. Nope. Oh, I want to know, though. Barfly. Okay, now this is for the chat, Barfly. How many scents glands does a skunk have? One, two, or three? How many scent glands does a skunk have? One, two, or three? One, two, or three? One, two, or three? It's hot there, 80. That's not right. That is not right, Flo on the go. It's not right. Where's she have at? To, she's in Florida. She has to give that back. Push it up here. It's it, get an industrial fan flow and just start blowing it up this way, please. If enough people did that, got industrial fans, we probably could create something really spectacular. I think it's 54 here. I can't uh -huh. see that well. <laughs> get out some more at the weather. Uh, three, one, three, one, they are all wrong. So then you know the answer has to be two. Okay. You used to have a skunk. Great. Okay. Uh, this is for that. the chat. What college football team caused an uproar by having the school logo printed on the seat of their pants? What high school football team? High school. <laughs> Nothing? Got an earworm. Earworm. Okay. We've got... The Idaho Vandals. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can't shred it my tongue. Here's for the chat. What was the name of the diner hangout in the 90s TV show Beverly Hills 90210? What was the diner hangout in the 90210 series? 
Okay, lovely lyrics. The Peach Pit, yes. Okay, for the panel, on what, on what teen TV series can you find just this, just Dorota the Maid, Dorota oh. the Maid? Dor on what teen series can you find Dorota the maid? You guys know it? No. Nope. The answer is Gossip Girl. This is for the chat. What 70s show featured a high school teacher with an unruly class called the Sweat Hogs? That's so easy. Oh, I know that one. Boy, oh, boy. Uh -huh. uh -oh. The TV was good. Now we've, now, we've, we've lost. now we've put Margo to sleep. Now, now we've, we've lost Margo. So this panel <laughs> is getting really, really bad. Mm -hmm. Now we've got three people that can answer questions on the panel. <laughs> is it for the panel? No. <laughs> Thank goodness. No, this would have been an easy one. Welcome back, Cotter. Yes, okay. Now, this is for the panel. What Happy Days character is immortalized as a statue in Milwaukee? Fonzie. Yes. Yeah. The Fonz. The Fonz is bronze. That's Fonzie. Is bronze. Okay, the chatters. What character pursued a career as a surgeon after surviving leukemia as a child. What character? I used to like this show a lot. Doogie Hauser, yes. Okay. This is for the panel. In the This Is Your Brain, This Is Your Brain on Drugs commercial, uh -huh. what is your brain? An egg. egg. Yes. Look, yep. Okay. Sunny side up. Uh -huh. Okay. Pretty big. <laughs> Yeah, I was almost said scrambled. <laughs> How come somebody said Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie a minute ago? Because that's so weird that somebody said that because I have two cards that say Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. So is someone in the chat cheating? Because I didn't pick those cards up. Why did they, how did they know they were... Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Me, hmm. Me said it. She, we thought they were behind, but they're cheaters, ahead. Cheaters, cheaters, cheaters. Okay. You know what you're gonna I'm not going to pick those cards because you're cheating. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is for who went last? The cheaters. The cheater, no, the cheaters, no, you guys did. What, this um, is for the chat, what Swiss mountain can you ride through on bobsleds oh, in Disneyland? So simple. Matterhorn. That's not your question. He was oh. saying because Brad and Angelia both own wineries. Hmm, likely, likely, Emmy. Likely story. Good, <laughs> good comeback on that. Mm hmm. 
Well, that was that. That's a coincidence, and I don't believe in those. Sharon, now we're putting time out. <laughs> we have three minutes in time out. So now we're going to we're gonna ask the chat another question since you guys stole that. In the movie Office Space, what does Peter Gibbons forget to include with his TPS report? What does he forget to include? In office space. Doug for the panel? I used to have a mug no. or something from office yeah. space. Doug, I forget what it was. I have no idea. That was a good move after all, Sharon, because now look, we don't have that question. Ah, there you go. Yeah, it was strategic. Yeah. For the positive side of things. Right. Mm -hmm. Not a stapler. Look alive. Look alive, chat. Come on. <laughs> this is pathetic. We won't be doing this for a while. He says something like a stapler? Yeah. She said not a stapler. Not a stapler. Come on. Now we're back in timeout. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Come on, guys. Look alive. <laughs> Call in your resources. Get some people in here. Bink wants to... What does she want to do? Fight me. She wants to fight you. <gasps> fight who? I, I don't know. She, Flo thinks she want to fight her. Why? She thinks you're going to cut her in the alley. I don't know. <laughs> a cover sheet. Yes. A cover sheet. Okay. Now this is for the chat. All right, this is, I'm telling you. For the panel, you mean? This is for you guys. What nickname <laughs> did the media give Falcon <laughs> Is it Is it Falcon Heaney? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> what nickname did the media give Falcon Heaney? Oh, that's easy. No. What? <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. Falcon Heaney. <laughs> Won't you tell us, please? Balloon Boy. Oh, the guy, the kid that went, they never oh. went. Okay. I here don't we, even know if that's the right Here story. we go with the chat. People with what hair color may need extra anesthetic at a dentist's office? Redheads. But that's not your question. Oh, oh no. Okay, chat, this is again another question. What video game are you playing if the host <laughs> repeatedly comments on your prefrontal cortex? What video game are you playing if the host keeps commenting on your prefrontal cortex? Wow. No, that's not the name. That's not the name of the game. It's called Brain Age. Sorry. Um, let's have this another is Robin wild. Marbles. <laughs> let's have another wild card. Okay. This is for the panel. Where can you find the Banzai Pipeline, the Russia, oh, excuse me, where can you find the Banzai Pipeline? In Russia, Alaska, 
Hawaii, or Texas? Sam's on Texas. And that would be wrong. Oops. Russia? Wrong. Come on, baby. Say the second one. You've got two more choices, Pink. You have a 50 50 chance. Is it Hawaii or Texas? Is it Hawaii? Uh, what? I would say Hawaii. You're right. <laughs> okay. Now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Staying alive. To the chat. The last song in The Sopranos is also featured in the. Oh. Pilot of Glee. What is that song? Oh, I know it. I can name that tune in. <laughs> what? No, no notes. I don't need any notes. Who Kid figured that right out? There. You know, like who just did somebody figure Crowd that Crowds really like that song. Come on, guys. Yep, oh, there's the x-rays. Kelly Shreehart, let's go. Come on, Flo. That was Carol yelling at you, not me. <laughs> Come on, Flo, let's go. You're on the go. I don't see you going. Let's go. You got to be fast to have that name. You don't want the name Flo is slow. That's right. Don't stop believing, Flo. There you go. Okay. Now this is for the panel. Who blurted out, George Bush doesn't care about black people during a televised concert for Hurricane Katrina relief? Oh, who was that? Do 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 He went over there and helped. You're you're thank you. Okay, who blurted that out? Loud. We can't hear you. The mayor the mayor of New Orleans. No. He was a singer, I think. He's a singer. He You're right about that. He's a he singer. Building, he helped build the houses. He's a up. singer. He's a guy. And he has <laughs> been in a reality show. And he is... Huh. I kind of remember, but I don't remember. Well, that should be how, give us half of a point. <laughs> was that? It was a blue bay? Who? Uh, uh, Michael Bublé guy, the jazz Michael Bublé? Yeah. No. <laughs> Why are you happy? He would never do something like that. Why not? He likes it. Darn it. Um, Shoot, it's I the know. same guy, okay? It's the same guy that during an award show grabbed the microphone from Taylor Kanye. Swift when she won an award and just Kanye. started going off on a tirade. Kanye. Kanye yeah. West. There you go. Uh -oh. Okay. Well, Blue Blade, or whatever I just said, whoever was that jazz guy, he helped too. This isn't about, okay. This is about being country. Know. Yeah, he, okay. Um, okay. Guys, in the chat. I might be quiet. The children's books of what author of feature a terrible driver named oh this is so easy mr frumble and an ubiquitous insect named goldbug the children's books of what author feature a terrible driver named mr frumble and a ubiquitous insect Named Goldbug. Come on, Binky. You've got little kids you're reading to now, oh, right? Oh, I thought it was the it was the oh, it's chat. chat. But... Right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to give him the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frumble is a terrible driver. Who is the author? If I give you another character, you'd be sure to get it.
<laughs> that was a clue. Oh. Mr. Frumble, he drives terribly. Come on, Flo. Come on, Kelly. Come on, Emmy. Come on, lovely lyrics. We're rooting for you. Come on. Who wrote this, who wrote this book? That's what the question is. Oh. <laughs> Come on. I'll give you a hint since you're not doing well. White Angel. Where's White Angel? I don't see White Angel. <clears throat> Where did they see White Angel? Are you punking us, Emmy? Okay. Richard Scary. Very good flow. I was going to say lowly worm. Then you would get it. Okay. Drive to, drove an apple car. Remember that? Okay. This is for the panel. What over-the-counter potion promises hours of energy now, no crash later? Oh, some kind of energy drink. I don't know. Oh, I don't see her. Yeah, Hours of know. energy now, no crash later. <laughs> Hours of energy no now, no Why crash I? later. I don't know. Nope, I have to pass on that one. Pass. It's okay, Sash, you're okay. <laughs> okay, now. What? is sold this is for the chat what is sold under these brands bum genius fuzz buns and swaddle bees that is so easy come on what is sold under those brands you never told us what the answer was to ours yeah over count over oh, the count five hour that. energy sorry oh yeah oh. five hour energy i've gotten that i never find it uh-uh May you but please be excused to order the, use the facilities? Well, why don't you go on the panel's turn? <laughs> Come on, Flo. <laughs> you shouldn't. You don't have to go. You don't want to be known as Flo, who always has to go. Come on. Flo <laughs> is Flo, after all. She didn't say what kind of Flo has to go. I think I know the answer to this. Maybe. That this is so easy. Everybody should know the answer to this. Come on, guys. Bum genius, fuzz buns, and swaddle bees. What is it? What are they? Diapers, right of heart, made wise. Okay, now you can go, Flo. Hurry up, make it snappy. And don't forget to wash your hands. Um, let me see here, and then I've got to go see what Sassy said. Really, she barks at things that don't exist. Okay. All right, now. Let me ask you a question, then I'm going to go check Sassy. What continent did Christopher Columbus think he had landed on when he first set foot on Cuba? Okay, what? and then I'm going to leave you with that for a minute. I'm going to go see what Sassy needs for a second. I'll get her set back down. No, the dog doesn't have to go to Holly. The dog is very old, and she kind of has dementia now. It's really sad, and she she barks at things, doesn't know where she is sometimes, and... Yeah, it's not, not good. The Americans. It's not good. What's That's what I say. What's the matter? You're okay. You're in your bed. There's nothing here. You're in your bed and you're good. Okay? If he existed at all. Everything's good, okay? It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhoods. You're good. This cat, I'm going to keep this cat, Sharon, because... It's sleeping here on the floor, and it really looks like it's sleeping here on the floor. So I'm sorry to tell you, I have to keep the cat. Okay. You have a kitty yeah. for me? The one, yeah, because it's Raven, Jimmy, it's really cute. It's sleeping in front of my little um, foot heater, and it really looks like it's sleeping there. It looks like a real cat sleeping on the ground. But I need a kitty. I know, but he's very cute, so. Aww. I know, but... I heard you talk about my cat earlier. And I, I yeah, because Jimmy said, oh, that's so cute. The cat's sleeping there in front of the heater. And I said, I... So that's Sharon's cat. I know, I said that is Sharon's cat. <laughs> I thought, well, maybe she didn't want me to hear her. <laughs> it's very cute. Oh, it's sleeping. I'm going to keep my kid. It's very sleepy. Sleepy there. 
I need feline therapy. <laughs> feline therapy. <laughs> okay, did you guys get the answer? America. I thought it was Asia. Hold on, I don't even know what I did with the card. Oh, I, I got it. Uh, he thought it was Asia. That's correct. Yay. Okay, this is for the chat. Who I'm gonna get? It. Who played Roger O. Thornhill in Hitchcock's North by Northwest? Now look at that. That's that's another thing that brings us to Kanye because they named their kid freaking Northwest. But who, I know. How that, but that's the chat. The chat has to. The chat has to. No, Shazzy, come here, baby. You know where they got that name? Jay Leno. Jay Leno, really? Yeah, he joked to Kim Kardashian. What are you gonna name the kid? Uh, uh, uh. North? And she went, I don't hmm. know. Yeah. They, she, they named the kid North. I was like, are you kidding? He was kidding her. That's better, okay? Better? Good. Feel better? Good. You kitty? Okay. Hi, kitties. Okay. All right, I'm back. That's good. So. There are the wraps for diapers. Yeah, but we're not talking about diapers anymore. We're like two questions past that. You're supposed to be doing the Hitchcock question. You're behind, White Angel. Who played Roger O. Thornhill in Hitchcock's North by Northwest? Heart made wise. Let's let's go. Let's try to get yeah, these answers. Come on. She doesn't know. She had lovely lyrics. Woke up hungry. Come on. I just gave him a little, gave her a little snack. Okay. And Kelly Schwedert has no idea. I gave the dog a snack. I did. Lovely. She's right in her dog bed right over here. She has a snack now. Well, it was a distraction more than that, believe me. She was barking at something that was not there. Yeah. So go, There's go. a dog by my house. It's been barking for three hours straight. Oh gosh. I don't know, to, I don't know what to do. I feel so bad. You're tied up. All right, so home? I don't know, it's on the next street over. But he has such a pathetic cry, like, it's sad. Yeah. No, well, you don't want to do well, anything because maybe like it's it, it's, it, it might bite you. Yeah. So, yeah. If it's still awake and, you know, if it's still unhappy, call. Okay, call. so nobody got this one. Okay. The answer is Cary Grant. I knew that. Okay. Now, this is for the panel. What president used... an almanac in his layering in his lawyering days to prove an innocent man to prove innocent a man accused of murder what president used an almanac in his lawyering days to prove it to prove innocent a man accused of murder it's a very weird way to say that but Kennedy no yeah she, what president used an almanac in his lawyering days to prove innocent a man accused of murder? Buchanan. I don't know. You're feeling triggered about your skunk that died? Don't feel triggered. The skunk died? How is it tri triggering you? What, oh. the, my dog is triggering you about your skunk? Mm -hmm. My grandma had it. Oh, no. Okay. Um, anyone? Abe Lincoln. Okay. okay. Now, the name, uh, this is for the chat. Artist Richard Prince famously re-photographed what cigarette company's advertisements? Re-photographed their advertisements. Come on, this is easy. I don't even smoke and I know this. Come on, chat. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Flow on the go. Are you back? Let's go. Let's go.
Hamel, wrong. Marlboro, right. Okay. Next one for the panel. Uh, let's see. If a North American, if a North American bird finds in its nest an egg of a different species, what bird did it likely come from? A hawk? I don't know. No, I don't know. A bird finds another into, bird. Into its nest and sees a egg of a different species. What bird did it likely come from? In North America. The cowbird. For the most part, the birds accept the eggs and raise the cowbird's chicks. I don't even know. I don't think I've seen a cowbird in my life. I okay. don't think I've ever heard, I've heard of a cowbird. Yeah, where they Okay. Yeah, they they sound lazy, like they just lay their eggs in others' nets and let somebody else take yeah. care of it. That's right. Okay. Whatever happens, happens. You take it, you don't, uh, whatever. A hug, love, love, love the lyrics. He did a Christmas, he died at Christmas and his skunk died. It was years ago. I don't know why things just hit you. Yeah, I'm sorry that it's hitting you and I'm sorry if my dog caused that. She didn't mean to. Okay. Here's your question, chat. Um... Aranta Velosa is delicious, but Aranita or Oreta is deadly. What are Arantas? Aranta Velosa is delicious, but Aranta is this for Orada us is deadly. No, it's theirs. What are Arantas? I probably have seen cowbirds. Okay. They are very nondescript brown birds. Except for to their mouth. They are not snakes. They are not snakes. I know things that, absolutely I know that, lovely lyrics. Um, they're not snakes. Come on, what are they? What other than snakes? Come on, just take a guess. It's easy. You're my best friend. Lovely lyrics. Um, <laughs> no. Come on, guys. Where is Flo? Oh my goodness. Love Uncle Buck. Lovely lyrics. Love that movie. No, movie. they're not snails. Come on, Flo. You can get this. Come on, Flo. They're not spiders. Spiders and snakes. I don't like them. Come on. Love that movie, but it makes you emotional. Okay. Roaches, no. Kelly's sweetheart, no. Come on, guys. And I, I love candy, and I have pictures of candy in my home. Candy or John Candy? John Candy. Oh, I thought you meant candy. 
I don't have pictures of candy in my home. That would be nice in your home. I really like this cat. Sharon wants the cat. But it really, it's very, I would have probably gotten the cat. I, well, I was getting the cat anyway, and then Sharon said I want the cat. What? <laughs> I was getting the cat anyway. Uh-huh. I've never really oh, seen a cat like that. It really looks like it's sleeping there, and it's such a lovely You don't color. like cats. <laughs> it's cl- Yes, I do. I had a cat, Max, for years. It looks so cute sleeping in front of the toe eater. Okay. Let so, us see. What? Let us see the cat. <laughs> then you'll all want him. Um, I want me. You used to sleep in your uncle's bed, and he would come. What? I'm going to whine. And what? Okay. Maybe you can have partial custody of him. Okay. All right. Let's see. We'll see. Um, he never married. Okay. Can we get to, did nobody knows the answer to this? There are no. mushrooms. No. Mushrooms. No. My goodness. Please. No. It's mushrooms is the answer. Yep. Well, okay. We call them mushrooms. We don't call them by their... Mushrooms. That's their patient name. Names. Yeah. Their names. I know that word. <laughs> but do you know what they call a spider with ten eyes? <clears throat> a weirdo? No, a spy. I, 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 I. Oh, I'm stop! <laughs> I think you told that joke already before. He's very warm now. He's very warm now. Look, he likes it. He's very warm. See, he's sleeping. Oh. See, and he sleeps this way. He's got a really nice flower on his back. That's my kitty. I bought that kitty. I know, but like I saw him and I was going to get the kitty and I was going to put him in the auction. And then you said, oh, I like that kitty. I'm like, okay. And then I was like, then how he's sleeping. And then he's so warm. I bought that kitty in an auction. What? I bought that kitty. But I'm not putting him in the auction. I'm I'm not going to. no, no, I he bought. was going, no, I, I was then I said, okay, well, you want the kitty, so I might as well, you know, you can have the kitty, but now he's here, and he's like. But I, but I picked it out in the auction that we were at the I know, day. and I saw him too, but I was going to pick him up, but I'll give him to you, you know I will, but I, I really like him. I need him really badly. He's nice and warm, he's so warm, because yeah. he's been sitting in front of the heater. Oh. He's very I can warm. Put- I can put the baby in front of the heater, too. Look, see, he has a bow, and he likes to sleep in front of a heater. Okay, does he like to snuggle? Yes, but he likes to sleep. He looks very nice sleeping in front of a very warm spot. Because he's all curled oh, yes. up, see? I have good spots here, yes. I can see, fireplace. He doesn't like to be cold. He's very warm. See? He's, he's a good kitty. Very nice kitty. Yes. The best. Best kitty ever. You were the biggest brat, though? Oh, Uh oh, what happened? Oh, no. Now we've lost Bink. We lost Evie. And it's 333? We might just have to end this ship tonight. Is it 333? It is. It is already. I know, because the the time. My brain, I'm telling you. You put it through a ringer tonight. Well... All kinds. We went all over the place. <laughs> Land, air, sea, <laughs> jungle. You did. I learned a lot. You did. Is it three, three, three? It's three, three, three now. And it's 3-11. The date is 3-11. And it's 3-3-3. Yeah. yeah. I got to go to the hospital this morning. You what? I have to go to the hospital this morning. Can't wait. Oh, what time? I have to be there by 6. That's just in, that's less than three hours. That's yeah, correct. 
Are you going to go to sleep? I... No. <coughs> not at this point. I'm going to be taking If you do, you should take your shower now and get dressed and maybe My get a shower look. in 25 minutes. Hello, Bucky Ann. Because we got to leave here. Oh, Bucky. Hi, Bucky. Hi, right. You missed yeah, the I trivia gotta, game. Yeah. And Bink bailed on the trivia. And we didn't oh, get the Godfather good. question right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's to go back in front of the heater. All right, I think we will... Um, Call it a night tonight. Thanks for playing the trivia game. We'll have to do it again real soon. <laughs> Not. <laughs> All right, everybody. Bye. God bless and prayers. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Get some of Bye. That high energy. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Uh.